Oh, balls! Today we're going on a Viking adventure. Viking? Today we're going on a Viking adventure. <laughs> oh, you got that stuck <laughs> in my head. Bup, bup, bup. Today we're going to go on a Viking adventure. We have three electric dirt bikes, two Segways, and a Telaria Sting. These two are X260s, which I actually got from Kickstarter back when they cost a lot less than they do now. They've been slightly modified. This one has a seat lift and doesn't have the drop pegs. This one has a seat lift and the pegs are dropped so the giants like Tucker can fit on it. And then this Telaria Sting we just picked up from Amped Bikes yesterday. It's totally stock and we'll see how it behaves. It's a lot less expensive than these and seems like it might be a better bike. What's on your mind, Tucker? I didn't grow up on dirt bikes. I went riding with George once and it was a disaster. <laughs> I'm worried about keeping up. I've had probably half an hour on a dirt bike. I did have a motorcycle. Very limited experience on a dirt bike. Well, let's see how this goes. Let's do it. This one has a lot more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> camera without a hat just i have the same <laughs> thing yeah just so that george, everyone feels comfortable george is trying to make me feel comfortable without a hat by showing me his bald head so but he doesn't have this little fluffy tuft here jealous. with helmet hair <laughs> i'm jealous man i wish i had a tuft I've got lots and lots of miles on these guys and they're awesome. This one is Jekyll and Hyde. In eco mode, it's a little too eco. In sport mode, it's a little too sport. <laughs> it's hard to hang on. These ones aren't quite as peppy as George's, but I'm pretty impressed. It gets up and goes. I hit some pretty decent rocky sections. Didn't have any problems. The only thing that, that I'm struggling with is the timing going off like a lip. It's not instantaneous. No, it's not. Which is really weird because you would think like electric cars, everything, it's supposed to be instantaneous. But it's not like if you were like on a dirt bike where you can just pop it. I just don't like touching them because the there little is. needles on the fruits. They're all gone. Right here. So just cut this little prickly spot off. I'm going to hold it with my gloved hand. It's like a kiwi. It's so different inside. I think I'd rather eat a Big Mac milkshake. They look like eggs. Mm -hmm. This is desert caviar. Don't eat the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> so desert caviar is not tart. such a wonderful thing. You ever had an unripe plum? No. They're just like little tart and sour. Yeah. It's not bad, but I can see some pokey still I don't want in my mouth. But there you go. Yeah. There you can Survive in the desert. It's like fiberglass. It's all Tucker's fault. Tucker's a bad influence on us. All right, we're gonna keep on trucking and uh, cover up my bald spot and uh, we'll check in momentarily. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I got it. it. Won't let me accelerate when I'm holding the brake. Oh, this gives you that weird feeling in your stomach. This here is what you call a valley. 
So all these hills with these flat tops are called mesas or plateaus. And my core, my, my. My Sharona. <laughs> I can't think of the word. My career has plateaued right now. It's over. <laughs> it's over. We need to do an epic drone montage. Yeah, we do. Let me correct my previous statement. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I believe <laughs> the little ones are mesas and the big area of flat back there would be a plateau. But the little self-contained ones are mesas. Big areas of flat are plateaus. Fact check this guy. Do you guys want to go find like a technical trail? To see how much trouble we can get into on these? Yes, let's go bomb a hill. Look at this beautiful scenery. So what do you guys think so far? Oh, that's... Other than the beginning, it was fun. So you were you were in sport mode and switched it to eco to make it less twitchy? Yeah, but then it gives it like a delay when you're trying to gun it up a hill. Like more delay than sport. Yeah, so it's like you push and then it's like, it doesn't take off like you were used to. I was just hoping for like a small, uh, a slight drop off, but it's a pretty big drop off. It'd be really cool if it was like a rotary switch. Yeah. I tried eco, but it just kept powering out for some reason. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely understand now why the guy at uh, Amped Bikes said maybe you want to disconnect the brakes. Yeah. Brakes from the brain so that you can use the brakes while you're throttling. This one really seems to be a little bit heavier too. Like it's a more, it's a little bit harder to wrangle. I feel like those are more nimble, but this one's, yeah, this one, it takes off. You ready to swap? Trucker, you want to do this one? Uh, yeah, I'll try it. And eco. I already scraped it up, so that's on me. That's what it's for. This is pretty incredible, dude. Pop out of that trail, like on the edge of a cliff. Was, oh my God, he's so close. Trevor, stop scaring George. Get this over to the dots. <laughs> over. I had to turn around. <laughs> Jesus. It's that. not as bad as it looked. Yeah, it is. <laughs>
You want to stay on the trail or hit the road? I'm ready to hit the road. Um, I think we went set out to kind of compare these bikes and figure out their range and stuff. And I think the ride just turned to be so epic that we kind of forgot about comparing the bikes or anything. That really was amazing. I have a comparison to make. Talaria, hands down. Especially for if you compare Co prices. 4,500 bucks for that, right? Yeah, well, five grand with taxes and out everything. Out the door, five grand out the door and but, it scoots. And it scoots and those those things are 6500 bucks now which is not at all what i paid for it on kickstarter but the uh the deal i got at amp bikes was satisfactory <laughs> actually if you're in the saint george area or in this area and you happen to be on gooseberry mesa and you find a misadventure lab hat it's like version 0. 0.009 and I would love to have it back so contact us and we'll give you 500 bucks for anybody who finds the Misadventure Lab hat up on Gooseberry Mesa. We'll see you next time.